Hello and welcome to EY Sugar Niger Lifestyle Channel. Yeah, my name is EY Sugar and we'll be talking about men and lifestyle. We are continuing from where we stopped on day four right here at the Abuja National Stadium. We call it the Moshud Abiola Stadium. It was here yesterday and uh, it was all about covering um, the state of things right here uh, put together by Aaron Contractors who have been saddled with responsibility by Dan Gote Group uh, who of course are supporting the federal government in the renovation of the pitch of the Abuja National Stadium. Apart from that, uh, the scoreboard is also one of those that will be looked at and um, of course they would uh, bring it up to uh, light with something more more recent when you talk about digital scoreboards I'd like to see in different leagues across the world and of course big big uh, facilities as this so certainly that's what we're going to be getting and um, that's it 24 24 weeks some days March 18th I guess some days before a World Cup qualifier uh, that will be playing next year as released by CAF, the Confederation of African Football. So certainly we should see the stands filled up again. We should see uh, everybody come around. We should see our football back to the nation's capital, Abuja, where of course we've had fantastic games in the past. I remember one of them games was uh, the Nigeria versus Tunisia 2010 World Cup qualifier on this particular pitch. I also remember uh, yeah, the Brazil opener. Uh, Brazil beat us three goals to nothing in that particular game. I remember also um, uh, we played uh, the World Cup at the 2009 Under 17 World Cup was final was played here at this particular stadium. Uh, we also have played um, different kind of qualifiers, big games here at this particular stadium. One teams, and so it will be good. It comes back to life, and that's what um, the sports ministry. Uh, is trying to do kudos to uh, the Minister of Youth and Sports, Mr. Sunday Dari, and also kudos must go to Dan Gote Group and Aaron Contractors, who have said they will do a very massive job right here. I'm not here alone, I've got my folks. I'll bring you up to speed after some weeks when this has taken shape, and it will be cool to see how they are faring. So, like I said, they've not been mobilized yet, you know, but it shows that they are committed to doing this and to doing not just well, to do it very, very well. the grass that was here this was a bad one this were weeds you know now different types that really wasn't good so now they just excavated and uh, now 
they would plant seeds that would grow, germinate, cultured into that massive peach, you know, that lush green, that beautiful one that would stay, you know, for a long time and we can have our football back to its best right here in the nation's capital, Abuja. Of course, also I understand that, um, uh, well, I understand they, they will also maybe doing the tartan track. Uh, well, that's not confirmed yet, but it will be good. Look at it, it's already in a very dilapidated state. Uh, so that means that they need to totally remove this and put another one. This was put in for the 2003 All-African Games, now called the African Games, and uh, totally worn out. But now, mo mo major focus as we speak is on the pitch. All right, well, 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 that's where we're going to be wrapping up today on AY Sugar Niger Lifestyle channel. And I'm sure you've been able to see how it looks like after the excavation has been done by Aaron Contractors, who has saddled the responsibility of getting this pitch back to life. It's been fantastic doing this. Thank you to Nas, the man, super drone flyer. And of course, to architect Tai Olajide, who also was part of the crew. I remain AY Sugar. Sugar, 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 saying, I'll see you in another video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and uh, turn on the notification bell. Of course, do subscribe and share this particular video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>